Oscar. Hello. Do you remember those old flash games that you used to play back in high school? Uh, you would always close it before the teacher found out. Oh yeah, that, yeah, those were the fun times. It's like always IT lessons. Oh yeah, some would some some of them were really really good, and some of them were really memorable. So this series is dedicated to looking back at some of those really really good flash games. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adil. And I'm the Brown Man UK. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Flashback, a series where we look back at some of those oldies but goldies of Flash games. This week, we're looking at Warfare 1917. I have a few memories of this game, but not completely. Mm. Well, this was an interesting one in terms of, I guess, real-time strategy it's considered, where obviously mm. you can either play as the British Army or the German Wormachet, and you can... Ah, yes. um, essentially have your troops in trenches and the main objective is to get your troops from one end of this map to the other uh, to essentially win that battle. So within the game as well there was obviously the concept of trenches since that was the only cover that you have available and you can then have them entrenched which then gives them a good defensive position or then you can have them rise up out of the trenches and essentially rush the enemy. Ah yes, given the old, the old push dear fellow, what ho! Yes, jolly good show. So, oh, yes. within that as well, there was actually another mechanic of winning called, uh, which is using morale, where if um, the enemy witnesses a lot of their men getting killed, uh, their morale drops, uh, to hmm. the point where if it gets fully depleted, they automatically surrender and you win. Of course, this goes both ways, because the enemy is also trying to push you back and also demoralize the shit out of you. Hmm. That's quite. That's quite a lot of, in a flash game, isn't it? Oh, this was like really like I guess unprecedented for its time because I want to say it came out in like two thousand and nine. So for hmm. a game for a flash game, it was really good in the sense hmm. that as well you had different um, troop types as well. So you had your basic rifleman who was basically a jack of all trades. You had yep. your assault troops as well who were specifically designed to rat out um, entrenched enemies. You also hmm. had your, I guess, I think your machine gunner for your basic defense, a sniper, an officer as well, who I believe increased morale and also allowed you to call in fire support, such as mortars and the good old mustard gas. I say good old. Do you want to have a fun fact? Do you know who the uh, major's name is in this game? Go on. Dr. Uh, Captain C. Blackadder. <laughs> ah, yes, the good old throwbacks to Blackadder. Really good show, actually, that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Rip Van mm. As I was saying though, um, I say good old gas. Gas back then was fucked up, but anyway. Um, mm. There was also even some random mechanics thrown into the map as well, where at certain, like especially when you progress through the campaign, um, you actually see um, barbed wire and mines. Mines of which of course would just oh, randomly yeah. explode and kill some scores of your troops. Um, but overall this game was I guess really, really advanced, uh, and I hardly give it a recommendation to uh, play. Oh, and as we see there, uh, the, the British have surrendered. Yeah, the British did surrender there, unfortunately. But now we move on as well to its sequel, which came out some time later, Warfare 1944, where, as you'd suspect, Ooh. it moved from World War One to World War Two. This one had a lot more of a streamlined approach, I suppose, because this time you had various lanes, whereas in 1917 it was just one straight line. So now you have multiple lanes in oh. which you can deploy troops and you can move them from various cover points where some troops, of course, were better in various positions than others. Mm, yep. And uh, yeah, if you would like to see more or if you would like to see a Flash game covered, be sure to put that down in the comments as well. Mm. And as always, he is the vegan. Yes, and he is the brown man. Of the UK. And this was our flashback. Flashback. Ha, ha, ha.